Hi, this is Paul from QuickandMobile.com and we are here with the Wheelator, which is a hybrid device. It is a walker that has multiple motorized features and it actually turns into a wheelchair. You can find out more about the Wheelator right on QuickandMobile.com. But let's go ahead and get this 32 pound device out and get it opened up. So I just took the Wheelator out and we opened the Wheelator up and we can see that the Wheelator is right now, it doesn't really look that much different than a regular walker. The only thing that is going to jump out on me right away is I have a front arm with a joystick on it and I also have a joystick on the back. I have an articulating backrest. I have handles that can actually lock the device. I have hand brakes. I have adjustability in multiple different ways where I can lift the backrest up and lower the backrest. And of course, I can articulate the handles. Now you can see it's actually a little bit of a rainy day or drizzling, but there's a little bike trail that's right over there. So I wanted to go ahead and demo how this works. So with the Wheelator right now, this is just being used as a regular walker. I can lower the handlebars if I want to, I can lift the handlebars if I want to, but it's being used as a regular walker. And if I want to hit the brakes, I can hit the brakes. So right now, of course, we can see that the parking lot is a bit unstable and I don't want to be unstable myself. So there's, there's really nothing out of the ordinary with, with this device right now until we get right here. Now, gravity, if I'm using a walker, is going to do what gravity does. So if I need stability to begin with, and I have to use my body's weight to stabilize a machine, it's kind of counterproductive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this joystick on the back of the chair on, or the back of the wheelator on, and it, right now it says zero, zero. So I can switch that, well, it says zero, one, I can switch it to two, three, or C1, C2, C3, which we'll get into in a bit, but, I'm going to adjust this on zero two. Now, what does that do? That actually puts resistance in the rear wheels. I have two 250 watt motors and you see how that actually locks the device up and it allows me to go down the hill, but not down the hill so fast that the device is getting away from me. And if I stop, the device stops. Now, if I'm walking down the hill here and I have the resistance mode on and I slip and fall, the device locks up entirely, allowing me to push myself back up. So it has some great safety features. Now, let's say that I wanna go faster. I'm just gonna make this to three and I can go a bit faster. If I want to go slower, I just put it to zero one and it's really giving me a good amount of resistance to get kind of down to the bottom of this hill so I don't have to worry about slipping and falling. And if I do slip and fall, it locks. I'm pushing my weight down on the device, getting myself back up, and it's going to display the zero one all over again. Now, I'm kind of down to the, the bottom of this hill and we see that the terrain is a lot different here. I've got some gravel, I've got some grass, I have some dirt. I, I really don't want to go through the mud right now because it's kind of muddy there and I want to ultimately get to that walking trail or walking path. So I'm going to go right over here on the back joystick and I'm going to filter it to C1. I'm going to press this thumb down and look what this does. This is actually providing motorized support. Now, if I press the M again, I can go to C2 where I can go to C3 to go faster. But right now I feel that this is a good speed and I'm going through some kind of a bit of dirt. It's not totally muddy. It is drizzling, it is raining. And I'm not, I'm not really working to do this. I'm just pressing my thumb down on that button. I, I take it off and look what happens. The device stops. This really is the most interesting device. You can see C1 right there. So it's kind of got a glare out today. 
It's, it's somewhat drizzling, it's somewhat raining. Press that down again and the device is, it's assisting me. I don't have any issues here. Now, I can continue this way if I want to, because let's face it, I don't need to be pushing a device and I feel that whether I'm in C1, C2 or C3, I'm able to walk at a very good pace. And if I needed to, if I absolutely needed to, I could very easily take a break and I could very easily sit down as long as I would like to sit down and rest using the wheel aider. So in a lot of ways, this is like a regular rollator in that regard. So I'll get up and I'll start moving again. Now I do have this in assistance mode. So I'm going into the slowest setting in assistance mode and I'm able to kind of set a good pace for myself for walking. So if I wanted to go for an exercise or a specific speed, this helps me pace and it helps me stabilize myself and it helps me move and it helps me become very easily mobile. And you can see that it's kind of easy to steer this as well in in this regard. So I can continue to move forward here and I'm about to show you one of the, the best possible things about this wheel aider, which is a motorized walker that turns into, watch how this works, turns into I'm gonna switch this so I go to the zero one setting into a, watch this. Now it's a wheelchair and it automatically locks itself up so I can't push this backwards. I can sit, I can flip the footrest or the foot plates down now the foot plates are adjustable as well. So that does come with three kind of pre-drilled holes there. So the foot plate can be lifted up a little bit. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn this joystick on the front. And I have the ability now that this joystick's on, kind of see I've got the different speed settings. So we're going to turn around and I'm going to go in a very slow setting right now. Faster setting, even faster setting, and then faster. So right now, I have decided that maybe I got a little bit tired because we walked. I did a good pace. And I can walk back if I want to, or I have the ability to very simply use the wheel aider as a motorized wheelchair. Now I can see that I'm going over slightly uneven pavement right here. That doesn't have any issue. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back basically the way that I came. And I will say that as a wheelchair, I have the ability to take this device over gravel, over grass. I'm taking my time though. I'm not on an uneven surface. I'm on an incline, I'm on a rough surface, but I'm not on an uneven surface. Now I'm in a muddy surface. And again, we're going through kind of not, not the best but you can see that this is able to handle it without an issue. And now I'm going up that same incline and I'm using this as a wheelchair. What a wonderful device this is. What a great blessing it is to have the ability to become mobile. And if I don't feel like using this as a wheelchair anymore, how simple is it? that really I can just, by pressing a couple buttons here, still sitting down even, turn this right back into 
a walker, a power walker. I will go ahead and finish the rest of my journey using this power walker, wheel later. And I, I really hope that just with this brief video on a warm, rainy afternoon, that we wanted to get out and at least do something, you're able to see how the wheel later is able to really get you mobile and enhance your life in a lot of different ways. Thank you so much for watching.